Hello everyone, I am with Shauma today. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Hello everybody. We are doing a new edition of Guess the Accent Challenge, uh, English edition this time, because I've done the French version before. And the challenge is very simple. I've asked you to submit a recording of you reading a text in English. And what we'll have to do is guess where you might be from. Uh, so there's two things we sort of have to decide. First is whether we think you're a native speaker or a non-native speaker. And then where you might be from. And we have to try to be as specific as possible. We'll do half a point if we manage to guess if you're a native speaker or not. And then half a point if we manage to get the country right. So in total, we'll do 10 recordings. So we'll see at the end who gets uh, as close as possible to the 10 points uh, mark. And before we start, Shauma, do you want to introduce yourself briefly to maybe those of you that don't know you? Yeah, sure. So I'm Shama. I'm a I'm a YouTuber and I'm also like on TikTok and, and, and Facebook, and I make videos uh, about language related stuff. So you may have seen you know videos where I go into like a Chinese restaurant and surprise people by speaking Chinese, and and you know I also study lots of other languages and I do different like linguistic experiments. So um, yeah, check out my channel. All right, so let's get started with the first recording. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store six spoons of fresh peas, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. And don't forget to tell her that she's coming with us to the cinema to watch the new Star Wars movie. I think that was a native speaker of English. Oh yeah, native, definitely. Where from though? I feel like she's probably American, right? You know, I was gonna say American too, but I, I feel like that's the safe answer. But really, I think Canada. I feel like you might be right. You would know better than I do. Uh, but I don't know. It could, it could be American. It could, if it's American though, it's, it's not, it's like a... There's like a slight like Midwestern, like Northern kind of accent. I'm going to say America, just so we get different answers. All right, great. <laughs> great, let's do it. So I am from English Canada, and <laughs> English is my mother tongue. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You were good. You got the first one. All right. Um, it was, I'm not super familiar with Canadian accent, but something about that was just like mm. something a little different here. Okay, so that's one point for you and half a point for me. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a small snack for a brother Rob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. She can put these things in three red bags and we'll go meet her Wednesday at the train station at 3 p.m. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, native and UK. I'm not, I'm not so familiar with like the constituent, you know, UK countries. Like I couldn't tell you exactly where it, but uh, it sounds like a kind of standard British accent to me. I'm not... Yeah. Maybe some regionality there, I don't know. I would say the same as you. I could detect maybe a slight non-standard accent, but I wouldn't be able to place them anywhere than yeah. just standard British English. Yeah, I think that's going to be my answer. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it. So my name's Tom Raines. I'm 36 and I'm from Manchester in the UK. Uh, I moved about a lot when I was younger. younger. So I reckon I've got a younger. pretty generic Wow. Northern English accent. Younger. I like the way he said young, like younger. So almost. younger. I know Tom wow. Rains. We speak on Twitter sometimes. He told me he was from Manchester, yeah. but he had a very small Manchester twang, but it sounded more standard. But I could tell there was something not fully standard, but just about. Yeah. <laughs> something a little different about that accent. That's cool. All right, that's 1.5 for me, two for you. Yeah. Please call Stella. Add her, ask her to bring these things with her from the store six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, or maybe a snack for her brother to Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. We will go meet her Wednesday at the train station at 3 p.m. Wow, this guy's got a cool accent. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna say non-native and I'm gonna say Spain on this one. That's my guess. I was gonna go for Spain as well, even though yeah. I, I don't know, I didn't feel like the accent was super, super strong, but it kind right. of, Right. yeah, I was thinking Spain as well. Yeah, it could mm. be like Brazilian or something if I wanted to go out in a stretch, but I don't know. I wouldn't say Brazilian, but then, yeah. we, I've, you know, I've done this challenge a few times and we have yeah. been surprised. <laughs> but right. I'm gonna go for Spain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going for Spain too. Yeah, let's go, go for, for it. All right. I'm Nubilang, uh, known in Twitter as Nubilang. My name is Adrian. Uh, I'm from Spain and I don't really know what my accent is from. I guess it has Spanish influences. Yeah, but that's interesting because we could tell it was Spanish but not full strong Spanish. Interesting. To me it just struck out as being like the same accent from Javier Bardem in uh, in one of the in one of the James Bond movies. 
I'll have to watch that. Like Javier, <laughs> yeah, it's it's such a great, and he's such a cool character in the movie too. So yeah. All right, so I've got two point five points, and you've got three points, so you're winning. <laughs> Ooh, right, here we go. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. She can put these things into three red bags, and we will go meet her Wednesday at the train station at 3 p.m. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think native speaker, I'm torn between Irish or Scottish. There was a twang there, especially when he said Mark. I can't do it, but he said he had a... A, a, something that <laughs> Mark. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Um, a native speaker from Ireland. Mm, I'm gonna go for Ireland as well. I don't think okay. it's Scottish. Oh, you just copied me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you convinced me. It's definitely Irish. I'm pretty sure okay. it is. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Keen McNally, and uh, I'm from Ireland. And my accent is North County Dublin. Dublin. Cool. <laughs> yes, and we're getting we, we're quite good at that. Wow. <laughs> Everyone's speaking so different today. This is cool. Yeah, I wonder if it'll get harder. Normally, it's really hard, so I think we're having it easy for now. <laughs> All right, let's get some let's get some hard ones. <laughs> right, so we've got three point five, and you got four points. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things to their front store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for a brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog that kids. Then don't forget to tell her that she's coming with us to cinema to watch a new Star Wars movie. Uh, I don't know. You go first. <laughs> Native speaker from somewhere in the UK. I'm not sure at all. I think I'm going to go for non-native, but oh, I don't know. It's really hard. No, it has to be native. But where from, though? Do you think the UK? I think so, but I, I, don't, I don't really know exactly. Like, I can't really place it exactly where. I want to try a different answer. I'm going to go for German. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So non-native. Yeah, non-native German. German. Let's see. Hi, my name is Zachary, and I am from England. Yeah. That was very interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, you got another point. Five. Interesting. Three point five for me. <laughs> that was really <laughs> hard. I live in England, but I couldn't tell for sure where the person was from. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. She can put these things into three red bags and we will go meet her Wednesday at the train station at 3pm. Uh, I'm gonna go for English standard, really. Okay, I'm going for Australia. Oh, that makes sense. There was a mild something, mild twang. There's, there's a little something, something. There's a little something, something going on there. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm gonna go for native England. You go for native Australia. All right. I'm Jordan or Usimakita on Twitter, and I have an Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Jesus, you're good at oh, this. Oh <laughs> man, that was uh, what he. I, I, I was, I was prepared there to be just blown away, but like, I'm actually from Jordan. Like, he, like he, he said, he said something in Arabic there, like his Twitter handle. All right, so four points for me and six for you, definitely winning. <laughs> it kind of made sense. I could, you know, when you said Australian, I was like, mm, actually, it makes sense. Yeah, it's a little, like, little country. It's like Australian is like middle America English, but for England, if that makes any Like, there's like a kind of like a country mm. twang going on there. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. She can put these things in the three red bags, and we will go meet her Wednesday at the train station at 3 p.m. You go first. <laughs> Native U.S. Yeah, I'm going to say U.S. Yeah. Like, yeah. for sure. If they say something else, I'm going to be so surprised, right. but let's see. Exactly. Like, I'm from Mexico. French. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right? I'm like, wow, you have great English, man. <laughs> I'm Kate Whitcomb. I'm from the United States, several different areas, uh, born in Southern California, raised in Rhode Island, and then spent adolescence and young adulthood in the South. I know her. I know yeah. her. She's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. She can put these things into three red bags, and we will go meet her Wednesday at the train station at 3 p.m. Don't forget to tell her that she's coming with us to the cinema to watch the new Star Wars movie. Do remind her of that. 
That sounds very British. I know who that is, uh -huh. so you go first. Do remind her of that. That sounds very... Uh, yeah, 100% American. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I know for a fact okay. this is Dakota abroad, right. and he's American. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's listen okay. to the answer anyway, just yeah. in case. <laughs> it could be French. Right. He's French. <laughs> one, Et two, bonjour. one, Et two. <laughs> <laughs> so my name slash online name is Dakota from Dakota yeah. abroad. I'm originally from northern Indiana in the Midwest part of the United States. Wow. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we got it right. So you've got eight points. I've got six. Cool. Mm, I don't think I'm going to win, but hey, let's see. Never know. <laughs> Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. Then don't forget to tell her that she's coming with us to the cinema to watch the new Star Wars movie. Do remind her of that. Thank you, Mark. So I'm going to say native from the US. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Native, native oh, US accent. Mm. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I, I'd be surprised if it's not that. Yeah, <laughs> but let's listen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> My name is Nidra and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Yep. Cool. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. So you have nine points. I've got seven. So the last one. I hope it's a surprise. I hope it's yeah. a hard one. <laughs> Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh peas, five thick slices of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. Then don't forget to tell her that she's coming with us to the cinema to watch the new Star Wars movie. Do remind her of that. Thank you, Mark. I think native. I want to say Australian <laughs> this time. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. do you say? Australian. I'm at Kath Sprout on Twitter and I'm from New Zealand. But uh, my mother was Scottish and I spent some time at international <gasps> oh! Wow. We just got owned. Wow. You know what? I was thinking at the back of my mind, New Zealand, but I was like, I don't know enough about New Zealand. No way, this is the accent. I don't either. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't. If you ask me, like, what, what's the difference between a New Zealand accent and an Australian accent? I don't know that much, but I feel like they have some similarities, but obviously they are distinct. It's probably similar to how like uh, American English and like Canadian English are like they're mm. pretty close. But like you know, there's mm. some differences. So you have nine point nine point five points. Nine point five, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I've got seven point five. You did much better than I did. <laughs> How dare you win at my own challenge? <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> well, I think I think being a native speaker helps. You mm. know. All right. Well, that's it. So thank you, Shama, for joining me for this channel. Cool. Please do head to Shama's channel if you would like to check out his content. And I will see you later. Bye. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Kevin.